Hi there Libra, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 9th of July. There's part of you at the moment that just wants to embrace completely anything new, fresh, stimulating, to get away from the daily grind and who can blame you because there's a slice of all of us that yearns for this kind of escapism but it's so full on at the moment. But you can turn this to your advantage by opening yourself to new interests new horizons, new vistas. That means reaching out and talking to different types of people, traveling more, learning about new subjects or hobbies. And there's a fantastic series of links this week which really can help you to be that much more open-minded. And since Mars arrived in your sign last week, this has given you a greater sense of certainty and it forges a wonderful link with Jupiter this week. So if ever there was a time to take a risk, on the face of it, you would think it was now. But there is a quarter moon, and it suggests that if you're too impulsive and go against your normal way of doing things, which tends to be consensual, diplomatic, taking soundings, you could rock the boat with someone who actually you need to keep on side. Just be conscious of that around Wednesday. In the second half of this week, Mars is becoming more and more established in your sign, but it goes opposite Uranus, which has been bringing you opportunity, but also chaos over the last well, 12 or 14 months. And this suggests that a relationship can reach a very combustible point. If you're not getting on well with someone, it probably is going to come out in the second half of this week. But be conscious that Uranus is squaring with Pluto still. So any clashes you have, even if you feel you have to defend your position, could mean that it ends up unsettling you at a deeper, more psychological level in a way which you may find quite hard to bear. So the trick here is going to be to pick the conflicts that you take on. Don't feel that you've just got to absolutely eradicate any opposition because there is a side to you, the cardinal side of you, that when you get fired up, you can be much more strident in the way that's more like your opposite sign of Aries. And I feel that you can demonstrate that this week because your zest for opening up your world to change is so great. But there are going to be some expectations and obligations that you are still going to have to fulfill. It's been a pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now. If you'd like a, a live consultation with one of my astrologers, tarot readers or psychics, please look at the link below. Paste it into your browser because you can have a reading which is 100% guaranteed. If you're not happy, we'll give your money back. But I think you'll find it's great sometimes to be able to talk to someone live. It's been a pleasure being with you. Good luck and goodbye.